long before Trump's plane got anywhere near the U.S. tonight. He's now home from Helsinki. It was a country in a kind of collective disbelief. Democrats and Republicans stunned by Trump effectively choosing Putin's word over that of his own intelligence community. I just felt like the, the president's comments made us look as a nation more like a pushover. And uh, I was disappointed in that. Republican Senator John McCain called it a disgraceful performance, labeling Trump naive and egotistical. Former CIA chief John Brennan said it was nothing short of treasonous, with other lawmakers branding Trump's position shameful, jaw-dropping, and a national embarrassment. A single ominous question now hangs over the White House. The question, wondered the top Democrat in the Senate, is when it comes to Trump's comments, why did he put Russian interests first? The only possible explanation for this dangerous behavior is the possibility that President Putin holds damaging information over President Trump. If that's the question, this is now the challenge to American lawmakers. Take a stand. I think in the coming days, it'll be time for all of us to stand up and say, which side are we on? Still, most of the Republicans targeting Trump today are regular Trump critics. There remain Trump backers aplenty. Here's the vice president's take on today. But what the world saw, what the American people saw, is that President Donald Trump will always put the prosperity and security of America first. That said, tonight, there's more criticism. Newt Gingrich, a big Trump supporter, tweeting, it's the most serious mistake of his presidency and must be corrected immediately. Then again, there's that other question. Will any of it stick? The midterm elections are getting ever closer, but this is hardly the first time Trump's taken heat, and he's stared down his critics before and moved on often. So we'll see, Ian. So, Paul, as you took us through it, strong reaction in Washington today. We heard from the vice president. What about others in the White House? Yeah, well, setting aside that Trump has survived criticism before, uh, look, you'd be hard-pressed to find anyone in any government that thinks a private one-on-one -on -one session with Putin in these circumstances was a good idea, let alone the rest of the meeting. Or that, you know, not having a better response ready for the easily predictable questions that would follow. And... You can imagine what they're thinking in the White House tonight. There are already some reports of some staffers asking a reporter, how bad was it? And this is a White House that has to parse and reinterpret the unexpected declarations of the president almost daily, usually with lower stakes than today. Trump will be going to Capitol Hill tomorrow for meetings with Republican lawmakers. No doubt, Ian, he is in for an earful. But to repeat your question, Will it stick? We can't tell tonight, that's for sure. Indeed. Thank you very much, Paul.